Welcome to another episode of Primo Talks. When it comes to life, you got to have those people around you who have those gifts and talents like you have in order for you to implement those things so you know that the things that you're doing is moving you towards those goals, those dreams, those realities that you saw in your life. This is not the time for you to take a step back. It's a time for you to be teleported. This is a place where you can actually get the information that you need that you can implement today. Let's talk. Welcome back to another Primo Talk. Today I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to tell you about this parable of the big dog and the puppy. I'm going to go over four points. If you've never liked, subscribed, or been on our channel before, I want to thank you for taking this opportunity of clicking the button. Don't forget to click the bell icon where you can get the latest content uploads that come from the CFS Studios channel. I'm excited. I don't like to hold anybody back. Your time is worth as much as my time is, so let's jump right into it. Here is the parable of the big dog and the puppy. It goes like this. One day, a big dog and a new addition to the family of puppy were standing at the front door. And they had a fence around the front of the house where the dogs could go out in the front. And the big dog looked at the little puppy that was just added and would say, hey, you little scrungy little puppy. You know, you want to go outside and the little puppy just sitting there looking at the big dog. And the big dog says, I can open the door and I bet you I can open it faster than you can. So the little puppy said, okay, bet. The big dog then they reached out, touched each other's paw to make the deal concluded. And the big dog jumped on the door, began to bite and slobber. Arr, arr, arr. It took him about two and a half minutes and he finally got the door open. The door, he pulled the door back, then he took his head and he closed it. Then the big dog looked over to the little dog and said, your turn. The little dog stood up and his most aggressive voice, he barked, woo, 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 scratched at the door. The next thing he knew, the owner came around the corner, opened the front door, and let both of the dogs out. It took less than a minute. The little dog walked outside with his tag up high, tail up high and said this statement. I knew my limitations, but I'm always going to depend upon the owner. I think that is so important today in the times that we live in. And the four points behind me, I'm going to address what the big dog lost as it became a big dog. Again, the big dog lost certain things, the awareness of certain things as it grew into maturity. And some of you might have ran into that situation. So let's go over these points. I'm gonna explain it. I hope this impacts you. I hope you actually do not ignore if you became that big dog and you will always remain that puppy in your life. Okay, check it out. Point number one. Never forget who's in the room who understands your limitations. One of the things that take place as you get older is you forget that there is somebody always there that is willing to help you get to where you need to go and open doors for you. But along the way, you believe in your mind that I can open doors, I don't need any help. Always remain interdependent, not independent, interdependent. When you go to Walmart, you are interdependent. When you go to the gas station, you are interdependent. You're not dependent, you're interdependent, which means everything you consume in your lifetime, every grocery store, every car, every car lot, every home, every apartment, you are interdependent of. Not dependent of, but interdependent, which means you must work within the system in order to accomplish the goal and there's somebody there to help you so you can achieve it. Number two, between the age of 18 and 40 years old, you can destroy your life. I cannot tell you the jails are full today because there was somebody between 18 to 40 that when they was around 15 to 18, they believed that they could do things according to the way they felt. That is the reason because you have to be mindful that that dog, the adult dog that was chewing on the door handle, arr, to open the door took two minutes, he could have broke his tooth, he could have tore the door up that the owner was like, what in the world? But the owner didn't even complain. How come? Because the owner had the skill to open the door. And he's seen that behavior of that big dog before. You don't always have to wrestle with doors for two minutes in your life. Allow the person who's there, point one, to open the door because they know your limitations. Point number three, the difference between a mature person and an inexperienced person is their ability to serve. I need you to understand that as we get older, from the time that we're young to the time we get older, we're developing a servant behavior. 
not a behavior that's this way. Okay, there's two types of servants. There's a person who goes to the bus stop and wait for the bus. And there's a person who works at a restaurant who serves customers. Whenever you have a situation in your life and you find yourself in a situation that you're not in a position where you can go serve at a restaurant, don't have the bus stop mentality. What you want to do is say, okay, who knows my limitations? Who can actually let me get back into a restaurant? How come? Today, I'm a father of six children. I have three boys and three girls. It is critical to understand that though, though everything I do in my life has to do with serving my wife and my six kids. That behavior that I have to have, the grass being cut, to the house, to the garden, to gas in the cars, to making sure there's service. This took place because I understood that the gap between being a puppy and being the person, the man in the house that knows the limitations is where I, you have to go. You hit to have to be a puppy depending on the person in the house that knows your limitation, but never be the big dog. How come? Because that person always ends up alone either going to grow to be the puppy where you're depending because you're interdependent or you're going to be the person who knows the sound of the limitations of the puppy. Do not be the dog because what he said to himself is I can open this door myself. But he didn't use a hand. The, the little dog scratched with his feet and barked, but he never used his mouth to go at the door. The big dog uses his mouth. That gets you in trouble in this world. In part four. Stewardship is management of property and cash that is for the benefit of others. See, if you want to decide that you want to get into a relationship, this is where you learn how to serve. This is where you learn how to set aside dollars and cents, pounds and pence, because you know I'm going to be taking care of a woman or I'm going to take care of an animal. I see so many people. And recently there was an article that took place in um, Arizona where these people were abandoning their dogs around the side of the road. They put some water, tied them to a tree, and abandoned it. Now, some people will say, well, that was cruelty. They shouldn't have left these dogs. They just left these, these dogs sitting out there. I'm telling you that the behavior, what they did, has to go with how they serve. Understand, if you have a servant heart, I'm not saying being a slave, because a lot of people confuse servant with slave. I'm not talking about being a slave. A servant heart means... I am going to move from being a puppy to being the man or the woman who opens the doors to people who I understand their limitations. I'm not going to be the dog who's going to antagonize the puppy who knows that he cannot stand on his two feet and grab the handle. And I'm not going to be the person that is going to ignore the sound of the puppy having to go outside. See, there's an understanding there. When you in service, you know these two, but the one in the middle is ignorant of it because they go out and challenge everybody. Oh, I'm better than you. I can do this. You have to be interdependent, which means you need people in this world to allow you to get to where you need to go. Build bridges, not blow them up. Again, you can build a bridge or you can blow them up. That's what this video is about today. I want to tell you the parable of the big dog and the puppy and hope that you are not the big dog and as a grown adult or if you are a young teenager watching this video, stop using your teeth. Just bark and scratch at the door. Have a wonderful day.